stop. Before you're about to accept Islam, you must listen to me. From a juvenile, when my clothes had holes in them, and my afro was picky, to them 90s, Moschino and Versace, no laces in Arachis, new millennium. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. Stop. Before you're about to accept Islam, you must listen to me. I'm a revert to Islam. I'm a Muslim myself. But before you take your shahada, you must watch this. Brothers and sisters, welcome to this video. I'll be discussing something very important. Yesterday, three videos were released. Three videos, two of them of one Christian Islamophobe, one atheist Islamophobe who claims to be an ex-Muslim, which is outright lie. He was never a Muslim ever in his life. And another one who's a, who's a David Wood wannabe, basically. I'm not even going to mention his name, this guy, yeah? It's just some guy who's just like literally begging, you know, got... He's trying his best. So we're just going to dis disregard him. He's, he's not even someone that's important, yeah? The rest, the, the remaining, the other two, they're not important as well. But I found it very interesting that these three people, literally, I watched all of their videos, three of their videos, and in their videos, they are literally begging you, yes, the ones who are watching this, who are on the verge of accepting Islam, they are literally saying this to you. Please don't accept Islam. Please don't accept Islam. Hey, look, we'll do a shotgun method. We'll just mention all these verses out of context. Please don't accept Islam. Hey, Islam says kill, destruction, and murder. Please don't accept Islam. Please don't. Islam says you have to beat your wives up. Islam says you can have four wives. Islam says this and that about woman and woman has no rights. Please, please don't accept Islam. And when that was happening, I was thinking to myself, it's like, you know when you have like, like, I don't know, like, just a scenario, yeah? You're in, I'll, I'll give you a little haram scenario. You're in, a, you're, in a, you're in a relationship, you know, with this girlfriend of yours, you know, and, and you're just like, please don't leave me. Please, I'll do whatever you want me to do. Please, please, just, just don't leave whatever you want. That is how bad the desperation has got. Has gotten. Now, I want to say something very interesting because I was watching one of their videos and look how Allah plans. Guys, I, I, please just tune in. Look how Allah plans. That I was watching one of his videos Let's check this out. Listen to this guy. Yeah? Listen to this here. Yeah? On this video, look, listen to this carefully. Number two is beneficial knowledge that a person leaves behind. And number three is a righteous offspring that will make dua for their parents once they have departed from this life. Well, He's doing a video of why you should not accept Islam. Yeah, these three main videos released at once because it was an emergency because there's hundreds, thousands, millions in Latin America to you name it, to all over the world, people are coming to Islam to big YouTubers, to Speakers Corner. In Speakers Corner, I have never come across one person, one person that's come to any other faith as much as they come to Islam. And in his video of telling people not to accept Islam, there is an ad. And the ad is of a prophet doing dawah according to Islam. And this is what Allah says, they plan. And I plan. And I am the best of planners. Alhamdulillah. I know you don't like to hear this. Yeah? In the very video, there's an ad, so you have to watch the ad. It's a five second ad you have to watch. And in the ad, what does it say? The brother's giving dawah. He's giving dawah. Subhanallah. Imagine you're doing a video and putting all the effort in, and YouTube has to place an ad, five seconds, and he's giving dawah. He's giving dawah. I found that amazing. And there is a massive reply before I'm going to get into the main crux of the matter of revert. Because this video is not clickbait. Revert before you accept Islam, you need to listen to what I'm about to say. I'm going to wrap it up quickly, yeah? Quran chapter 110. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, I will be lahim in the shaitan rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. What does Allah say? When Allah ultimately helps, when, when Allah's ultimate help comes and the victory over Mecca is achieved and you, O Prophet wasallam, see the people embracing Allah's ways in crowds, in multitudes, in millions and in billions and in multitudes, crowds, then glorify 
La ilaha illallah. The praise of your Lord and seek his forgiveness. For certainty, for certainly he is never accepting, he is, for certainly he is ever accepting of repentance. So brothers and sisters, we want to make this video a video of where you guys, Alhamdulillah, La ilaha illallah, Subhanallah, glorify Allah. As we can see multitude of people coming to Islam. Multitude of people coming to Islam, brothers and sisters. There's a book called Beauty Sick. As I read this book, it makes perfect sense to me why so many women come to Islam. Because the society they live in have sexualized and objectified them to a level that no one actually respects them. They are treated like a piece of meat. And that's why it makes so much sense that the women are flocking to Islam. Can you believe the miracle? The, the campaign that's done towards Islam and towards how they, they've made it out like the way women are treated. Is, and the, the opposite. And the more women are coming to Islam. So for those reverts who are watching this, for those who are on the verge of uh, accepting Islam, hold on a second. Let me tell you something as a revert. When I came to Islam, wallahi, I'm telling you guys, this is exactly what happened. Yeah? I was stopped. I'm not going to men mention who it was. Close family members. Yeah? I was forced, I was, even before I was, uh, came to Islam, I wanted to try fa out fasting. I was insulted. I was sworn at. I was abused. I was kicked out of my house. I was called ISIS. I was mocked at. I was laughed. I was called an idiot. I was called everything under the sun. All these doubts they came with. Shotgun method like these guys did. Shotgun. Oh, it says here, kill, marry. There are all this nonsense. All of them came. And every time I had an answer to it, evidence, not hearsay, evidence, you know what was called? Wallahi, I swear upon the Lord of the Kaaba if I'm lying. Wallahi. You know what they would say to me? Yeah? After I would, I would, I would give them the, 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 the reply, you know what they say to me? Oh, you're an idiot. They'll get aggressive with me. Family members, close family members. You're idiot. You're stupid. You're dumb. You're dumb. You're following this prophet who's like this, who's like the Audu Billah, the greatest man to walk this earth. These men, some of them in my family members, yes? Male members who come and tell me, oh, you know, uh, um, your religion says that you can have four wives, da -da, etc. And I'm thinking in my head, bruv, no disrespect, yeah? Like this, some of them are very vile towards the Prophet, sallam, yeah? And I'm looking at this family member, male, and I think, bruv, are you not the same guy who cheated on your wife three, four times, bruv? Are you not the same guy? And you're here coming and telling me about a woman's rights. Are you not the same guy who beats his wife black and blue, bruv? And you're the one coming and mocking me, yeah? Mocking me. Go to my wife and tell her if I've ever laid my hand on her. Ever. Treated her how you treat your wife. Now I'm not saying that it's just Muslims that do it and you need Islam in the context of, yeah? There are some good guys out there. The point is this, hypocrisy. When Allah legislates for a man to marry two, three times, etc. Yeah? It's because to honour, if it's going to be done, it's going to be done in the right way. That you don't go and abuse, use and abuse another uh, woman. Yeah, you have your main wife and you've got side chicks and mistress and girlfriends that you use and abuse and treat them like crap and destroy them psychologically and mentally. Yeah, and you just use them and chuck them away. Allah says, no, if it's going to be done, it's going to be done the right way. You honor her. You marry her, you honor her. So I'm just saying, guys, for those who are on the verge of accepting Islam, let me tell you something. The only thing that you should be concerned about is what? You know what? Have no doubt. Islam is the truth. No shadow of a doubt. No shadow of a doubt Islam is the truth The only thing that you need to be concerned about Is the persecution that you're going to suffer Yeah Because I've heard of reverse stories Of reverse being spat in the face Kicked out of their house Yeah Our brother Isa May Allah have mercy on him Who passed away Yeah his fam One of his family members would let him pray. He would go and pray in the garden So don't worry about these things Once you know Islam is the truth The only thing that they're going to be left with Just as the Quraysh The pagan Arabs Did to the Prophet Peace be upon him And tortured him And his companions for 13 years and kill them and uh, torch them for what? La ilaha illallah. Just because of this statement. I myself as a revert was persecuted. Myself, not th like that. I'm not trying to make it dramatic. I went through some stuff as well. But the main message is this. You, this is the same thing you're going to go through. Yeah, you might do. You might do, I'm not saying. And walking out on the streets as a hijabi, getting attacked. These are the things, sadly, we have to be concerned about. Not is Islam the truth or not. No, wallahi. Wallahi, that's not. I speak to a lot of reverts. That's not their concern. Because they know Islam is the truth. They're concerned about as a hijabi or a niqabi walking down the road and being spat at, being run over, being shot when you're in the mosque. Yeah? Being shot, being, uh, um, being vilified. Yeah? Being, being kicked out. Yeah? Losing your family members. Having to pray. 
having to pray in secret. These are the things believers have to be concerned about. So before you accept Islam, know that this, these things should never stop you from accepting Islam. Allah is going to make you strong. And one life, shall I say something as a revert myself? Seven going in eight years, alhamdulillah, and may Allah keep us firm on the Shatah Mustaqim. Wallahi, every single second of that persecution, that little persecution that I went through was damn worth it. It is damn worth it. Increase my iman. Increase my iman knowing that these people, these people have nothing, be it my own family members, to these Islamophobes, to these scumbags on the roads attacking sisters and brothers, innocent people, stabbing people, killing people. The only thing they fear is la ilaha illallah. Wallahi, they fear that. That's why they burn Qurans. That's why they insult the Prophet. That's why they draw pictures. That's why they do all, the things, all these things. You know why? Because they've got nothing else in their hands. So much so that three people who've done this video, one of them is an atheist. Imagine, atheist, siding with two Christians. Imagine. And this is how they'll come together. All of them will come together. And these two Christians, yeah? One little boy, yeah, trying to be David Wood, yeah? And what, what do they? They've stopped talking about Christianity. They don't talk about Christianity anymore. You know why? Because people have come to the realization. A sister accepted Islam, and you can check this video out. Um, um, the, um, she's the, do, uh, the stepdaughter of a pastor. Yeah? Okay, pastor, not pastor. Yeah, pastor. She accepted Islam. Why? Because she said, and, and look at, there were some studies done in America. Majority, a lot of the Christians there don't believe Jesus is actually divine. They don't believe it. So people are not buying that and the West have turned their back against Christianity. So what these hate preachers do, these Christian hate preachers, by the way, they're not the same. Because Allah says in the Quran, لَيْسُوا سَوَاءَ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ أُمَّةٌ قَائِمَةٌ يَتْلُهُونَ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ آنَاءَ اللَّيْلِ وَهُمْ يَسْجُدُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, the people of the book are not the same. The Prophet said, there is not a Muslim servant of Allah who says this three times in the morning and evening, except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be pleased with them on the day of judgment. رَضِيتُ بِاللَّهِ رَبَّهِ وَبِالْإِسْلَامِ دِينَ وَبِمُحَمَّدٍ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ نَبِيًّا I am pleased with Allah as my Lord and with Islam as my Deen and the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم as my Messenger. لا إله إلا الله Welcome to Islam. May Allah make your path easy and do not let these hate-filled preachers stop you. Let them beg, please don't accept Islam because what they're doing is actually causing more people to learn about Islam. Till next time, I've got to go. My daughter's back. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Come. Nine. Yeah, come here. You're my camera woman. Come, come, come. Come, come. Till next time, goodbye.